Margaret in Windsor, and I'm listening. I've been watching Channel 10 local here, uh, WSLS, but the other uh, station, uh, Channel 7, has done the same thing. They're telling about um, the uh, missing girl campaign, uh, save the ne- help save the next girl, and it's on Facebook. It's um, what they're talking about now, though, is uh, there's flyers being attached to uh, a pizza place here. Subs and more photos are attached to the pizzas when you buy them. <clears throat> and what was one of the remarks here that I believe Patrick McGee gave was, um, look, look how much that will do to enlighten people give them more information. <clears throat> the, the locals, this is what is so appalling to me is to listen to it. The media will not tell about mind control murders, national or local. And believe me, they all know it. Yes, they do. And especially the locals here. So to sit back, and some of the parents of these missing girls and abducted know it too, and they have been murdered. I'm going to quote you the last three, and I'm the one that gets run out of town. I'm the one that starved and froze, uh, telling the truth. <clears throat> and um, McGee was saying how much that would help putting the flyers on uh, that go out with the pizzas and subs when they're sold, uh, how much it would enlighten people about what's going on. Well, just think about it. if uh, a group had gotten together which is uh, they're doing with this one, Help Save the Next Girl campaign, the pizza flyers, all this, if they'd put a little effort into telling the truth about me, my abduction, what I've told about mind control murders. <clears throat> my God, you had Larry Flint um, that was shot in Lawrenceville, Georgia, and I was flown out there uh, to his home during a campaign it gets into links that nobody could make up. All anybody would have to do is just Google them now. Uh, so it's not doubting I've told the truth or anything. I've lived on the Appalachian Trail. People don't like what I've told. They don't like, it doesn't matter that I was abducted myself and who I am. I was abducted from Buckingham Palace and brought to Moulton, Alabama, given the name of a twin, Peggy Ann Dempsey. I married a Childers. Both twins were dead and killed by their mother, so it was a pigsty and a hellhole I grew up in. I didn't find out about it until 83, my kidnapping, my real name, and I had already done the book, MD, a license to kill, and that's when Larry Flint was shot while I was doing the book. So th- these type murders are not gender-related. They're done in patterns. It has ne- helps save the next girl. It's not going to do uh, anything to stop these type murders. They're mind control murders until, uh, and some of the parents of, um, I'm just going to name Alexis Murphy and um, Hannah Graham and um, Morgan Harrington. There, there are parents who are very aware of these type murders, and they could lend their support to try and to, if they want to stop them, go after the agencies that's deliberately doing it. And I'm going to refer back to um, Blacksburg, Virginia Tech, uh, April the 16th of 07. The 33 that were killed there, and the guy was programmed that shot them. He was programmed to shoot them, then turn around and uh, he shot himself and killed himself. He was a student from Seoul, South Korea. Now then, uh, these have nothing to do with mental illness. Mind control is a weapon, invisible, and it's hard to prove. And that's that's about all I can say until they want to ante up and tell the truth about it. I mean, it's almost like a sick joke. Uh, I haven't looked at the other girls on this. Uh, I haven't had access to it that are on this flyer. But I can bet you at least one of them uh, is a part of the mind control murders. And I don't know, perhaps more of them may be. But until you tell the truth about it, it's not gender related. It's mind control murders. And uh, until someone's got the guts 
to tell the truth like I have, it's just going to continue. But look at all the effort um, and the people. You're right, Channel Sand, when he said that about um, the flowers. They, if you'd put a little bit of that effort into helping me instead of telling me and doing everything to stop me and toward it, Maybe it would have been stopped a long time ago and uh, all this wouldn't have happened to me 